Hey everybody, it's a robot. Let's check it out. So this is the Sun Founder Pi Car V uh, Smart Video Car Kit version 2.0 for Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is not included and it's pretty much never included in these kits, which so I knew that going into this. Uh, so it can stream video, has neat wiring, Wi-Fi remote control, wide angle webcam, so pretty sweet. Looking forward to checking this out. See so we got we got four wheels couple different styles uh, these have a different offset on them so I'm guessing yeah so one set of these is made to be driven and the other set is made to just kind of ride along so I'm gonna assume that there's two motors in this kit speaking of motors we have this control board I don't know if you'd call it an X bridge or an H bridge or what you call it but uh, it has a couple of I squared C ports motor port servo port and looks like some GPIO breakouts. So there is the control board. So this is obviously made to handle your power with a barrel jack. Oh, cool. So it's made to go straight on the GPIO of the Pi, uh, which is cool. So Sun Founder STEM Education. So cool. Really excited about this. This is a this is a well built board. It's a it's a chunky, heavy board, thick PCB. Um, yeah, so that's our control board. We have... Okay, so this would have to be an H-bridge. So this, this is made to uh, divide the power between the two motors and, and send it out. So, okay. We have some servos, some different servos. Some servos I've never seen before. Uh, these are called Clutch Gear by Sun Founder. So Sun Founder has their own branded um, servo motors. These have plastic gears. They feel a little bit more skookum than, um, than the blue ones that come in the normal Arduino kits. Uh, they're about the same size, but they have little holographic stickers on them and, and just the plastic feels a little bit better. So we'll see. Uh, then there's all the little accoutrement that come with it. We have a USB webcam with a retractable cord. Now I've seen this before, or I've seen one of these before. So you can pull your little cord out and put your camera where you want to. It's got a little clip on the back, sweet, I like that. We have the 18650 battery board with the barrel jack connector. And these are some JST connectors that are all pre-made for connecting motors and servos and stuff like that. Got another hefty bag of hardware. So this is, this is good. This is brass. I mean, they could have used nylon or something like this, but you actually get brass. Ooh, like this. So there's some little bearings in here. Let's take a look at these. It's a couple different, no, they're all the same style of bearings, but little, Teeny tiny skateboardish type bearings. So I'm gonna guess that they go in the wheels, but I don't wanna I don't wanna do anything until they tell me to. So lots of hardware here. We've got some lock nuts, we've got some regular nuts, it's all labeled. Uh, lots of brass. I don't really see any plastic at all. It's all it's all actual metal. Sweet. And speaking of until they tell me what to do, there is this book here which has pictures and let's see here. Yeah, I mean, the instructions actually look like they're really good English. Uh, so there's ways to do it with Python. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is, uh, yeah, this is actually really good. Like, the English is, it's basically native English. And so I think that's, I think that's good. We'll find out how it goes when I actually assemble it. But so far, so good on the instructions. I've got another board here. So another kind of motor controller board. This thing must have a lot of... A lot of motors. This also looks like it's got a GPIO header or something on there. So yeah, this is it's an I squared C board with uh yeah, I don't know. This is this is interesting. More servo motor control stuff. Okay, now Sun Founder, I do want to thank you for this you have peeled the stickers off the board, which I appreciate. Um, I don't mind doing it, but it's kind of nice to have all the parts broken out. This is different too. There's some actual, looks like 3D parts and stuff like that. So normally these kits 
would have this stuff all just plain laser cut, but there's actually bent pieces here and, and pieces that are 3D. And so, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a different kind of kit. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. Put all these little plastic doohickeys in the bag so I don't lose them. We've got some wire loom. And I think I felt another one. There's two of these motors that are basically the same motors that wind up in the Arduino kits. So I've used these, no problems with them. We have a Phillips screwdriver, little rotating cap Phillips screwdriver. Ooh, a USB. I'm gonna guess this is an N adapter. I'm gonna guess that this is a, if I were to plug this in, it would be a an ethernet N adapter. So it could be a G, I doubt it's a G and doubt it's an AC. So I'm gonna assume it's an N. We have the ribbon cable, or the ribbon, I know what this is. This is for getting the 18650 batteries out of the battery pack. You push this down in here, and this little ribbon will allow you to pull the batteries out so you don't have to like stick a screwdriver down there. So that's sweet. And we got a couple of little tools. We have the robot multi-tool as well as some other wrenches. So, um, this kit actually looks pretty straightforward. Some of these kits, when I open them up, I'm like, goodness, I got a lot of work ahead of me. And, and this isn't... I mean, I'm not going to do it in 10 minutes, but this looks like it's it's well laid out. And uh, yeah, looking forward to building the Sunfowder Pie Kit. So I'll let you know how it goes.